Force TV is the brainchild of broadcast veteran Greg Clark, who put together his core team for the Sydney 2000 Olympics. GeForce TV is all about the core crew. And Australians in general are very, very good at producing television, and in particular, um, sporting events. Television viewers of London aquatic events will feel like they're in the pool with athletes as a host of mini cameras track every move in the water and all the emotion out of it. The equipment that we've been using for aquatics for the last 12 to 15 years started off in, in analogue. The equipment was large, quite bulky, it was in 4x3. As the Olympic Games pro progressed onto Beijing, every, every sport was covered in high definition. Those cameras got smaller, and including those cameras is the MobiCam, Moby which is a camera that tracks underwater. Uh, that camera tracks the full 50 metres underneath lane three, and it shoots lanes four and five, the two favourite favourite lanes. Keeps up with the swimmers the entire time. So the camera that's in there is a 16 by nine high definition camera um, that can do as many laps of, of the pool as any, as any swimmer can, and can keep up with them. So this technology is quite incredible to be actually be underwater swimming with those athletes um, is visually spectacular. GeForce TV's specialty underwater cameras and 130 crew are currently in London delivering their expertise to the world. The other camera that draws a lot of attention at any games um, is the dive cam. Now that, that camera is the one that is perched up against the, the 10 metre dive tower and tracks with those divers as they dive into the pool. And it's very, very simply done by a guy holding with a pulley and a rope um, that holds the camera up level with the diver. And as that diver leaves the platform, he simply lets go of the rope and the camera, just with gravity, falls at the same speed um, as the diver, like Sir Isaac Newton explained to us 400 years ago. Uh, the, the glass that is inside, that's on the outside of this tube is a is a, is a dark smoky glass and then when it hits the water it's actually clear and that's because the exposure um, above the water um, is different to the exposure under the water so it, it needs to be knocked back a little bit while it's going down to hit the water and as soon as it goes under the water it's clear so the exposure is even the whole way down. Clark sees it as another opportunity to showcase the best Australia can offer for the benefit of all. We are hard workers, we work together well as a team and we travel well. And in the crew selection process, it's very, very important for me to take that into consideration, that I take people who get on well with others, uh, very, very good at what they do and are interested in travel, as most Australians are.